Speaking of the Jeopardy host. Wow. <laughs> okay, I didn't know Matt LaFleur was speaking to the media today. I didn't either. Uh, I mean, uh, I guess Exciting. the Packers are breaking for the summer. School's out. School's out. And the main, uh, the valedictorian is still not there. And uh, all right, these are two sound bites that I uh, that I had uh, the the crack staff of the Rich Eisen show, uh, D'Lo and uh, Smitch. They went at it, and they got these sound bites. I have not heard them. I will react to them uh, one at a time, if you will, or uh, I don't know. Let's just uh, let's hear the first one. Uh, this is Matt Lafleur, Packers head coach. The subject of Rogers might have been uh, touched upon. What are the challenges that? the uncertainty a quarterback create for you as you get ready for camp and how much does it help to have an off season to get you ready for camp we're excited about a training camp we're excited about this football team i think the character of this team is is really high i think you know the challenge is can you recreate that magic that you know we've been able to the last couple of years and become a close knit connected team with with great player leadership and um but, no, we're excited about just what the future could hold. And, um, you know, it, you just got to take it day by day in, in terms of everything else that's going out there and and, and control the things that you can control. And that's, uh, you know, the attitude, the how you prepare, and the effort that you give on a daily basis. Control what oh, you can man. control. Coaching that's cliche bingo. Three. Let's go. Yeah. By the way, Belichick used the um, only talking about the guys that are here with Stephon Gilmore. That was when I'm sitting at my son's graduation. I'm seeing these emails that pop up every now and then, you know, and a break in the action. And I'm like, that, that was the I was pining. I'm like, damn it, I can't believe I'm not on my show and Belichick's using one of my favorite cliches. <laughs> all right, let's get the next soundbite from Matt LaFleur. I want to take it all in. So what's the point of having all these other quarterbacks if they're not going to actually get snaps or many snaps? Well, I think it's it's there's so, there's so many more components than just the 11 on 11, on 11 team drills or the 7 on 7s. It's you're you're throwing routes on air and um, you know, as good as I'd like to think I can throw the ball or Luke Getze can throw the ball. You you want NFL quarterbacks throwing those to the receivers, backs, whoever it may be. So you need those arms. And I, I'm sure, like, as we get closer to training camp and, uh, you know, things could become a little bit more clear for us, you know, we, you know, we potentially could make an adjustment there. Hit it, Mike. Hit it. What were they really <laughs> thinking? Why are there all these quarterbacks here? Really? 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 <laughs> <laughs> Did you just ask me why there are all these quarterbacks here? Why are there? Why are there all? Why do you think there's all these quarterbacks here? Why do you think? You're a smart guy. You cover football. Did you watch Kenny Maine's last Sports Center? I'm not talking about him cursing the guy out. I'm talking about he's not here. Jordan Love, we're not going to make his arm fall off. We got all these players that are here. You know about camp arms. I know I'm not going to give you an answer on Aaron Rodgers other than the fact that maybe we'll make an adjustment. Yeah, here's the deal. What I mean, we'll make an adjustment. All these guys better not give up their job at the Home Depot because if Rodgers shows up, their asses are cut. <laughs> Is that plain enough English for you? Why we have all these quarterbacks here, Matt? I feel for Matt Lafleur. And you know, while we're just well, on the subject, no while yeah, we're on no the win. subject of just parsing everything, that Aaron Rodgers, um, Deshambo, Brady, Mickelson, Palooza, Brian Anderson, Palooza that they they did the Zoom, the promotional yeah, yeah, Zoom, yeah, a couple days ago. And Brady tweeted out, "How many times can I make a this joke? Do you think before we play and get out of Dodge?" And it was Brady. Once again, verbalizing in front of Rodgers his initial fantastic troll job when this thing first was announced, telling DeChambeau, get used to not having a partner who's not used to going for it, right? Going for it, man. Brady goes, I think you've got a partner with that probably have liked to go for it a little more often than he has in the past. So, Bryce, I'm glad you're encouraging him to kind of go for it when it's on the line rather than just knocking it into the fairway or something like that and try to play for the next shot. 
And DeChambeau, you know, uh, doesn't seem to be, you know, much of the jokester. <laughs> he does not. <laughs> yeah, I'll never push anyone to do anything so he can choose whatever he wants to do. And then Rogers says, well, I usually don't get the option in my experience. <laughs> The Shambo goes, that's what I mean. You'll finally have the option, Aaron. And then Brady to the point where, again, I'm reading this on the, on the, on the screen. It got so awkward. Brady even said at the end, I know the pain. So what were Parson and everything, including the I'm offended <laughs> shirt and what he's thinking and blurring his background and all of that stuff? Every single time that I've tweeted about or sent out a video about my two cents on something that Jay Glazer said yesterday on our friend McAfee's show, he still wants out. So you got James Jones saying, I, I can fix this. Just put me in a room with everybody. And then uh, Glaze, who talks to everybody, says he still wants out. And we're trying to see everything. I, I'll be honest with you, because, again, who the hell knows – if he's really offended or he's making fun of the media that we're parsing everything like I'm about to do, but this is all we got to hang our hats on right now in the middle of June is I first thought that I'm like a number of times that whenever I give my two cents on the subject and I read some of the comments, I read them <laughs> and um, people are like, yeah, well, when you say he's upset with management, he loves his coaches. He said he's got nothing problem with the coaches. Well, he knows this stuff is coming from Brady. I would just suggest to my friend from Malibu slash Wisconsin slash Berkeley slash Butte College slash Chico, California, the comeback needs to be punched up a little bit because it's coming. And when I read that, I thought, like, that's a guy who's not going to play for that coach anymore. I literally thought that. I could be so far off. Admit that. I'm fully admitting that. I could be so far off. But I saw that. I'm like, wow. That come, you, know, you know that's coming. You know it's coming. And his response was essentially, yeah. I find I don't get that option. Am I wrong? Tell me I'm wrong, Christopher. Yeah, I don't think. No, so coach, either. you can absolutely feel free. I mean, you I, are I can. Not wrong. I mean, honestly, I, 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 I heard that. I'm like, ah. Oh. I don't think he's playing for Green Bay. This honestly, year, like, but. and and here's the problem: is Brady is so on top of the world right now. What do you come back with? You know, like, yeah, uh, you know, you need a few more electrolytes on your uh, on your humor, Tom. You already used that one. Yeah. Or, or you know, I think you're inflating your uh, opinion of things. I don't know. He's so unbespiritual in that respect because the guy is Tom F. and Brady. Yeah. But to basically say, yeah, you know, you're right. I don't get those options. Man. I thought to myself, is this guy really done? Because this is the coach that that's on the griddle every single second, getting a phone call from his buddy Kyle. Day of the draft. Hey, you know, I'm about to choose uh, uh, Trey. I'm about to go in this direction. You know, for the last six weeks, we've had this plan, but I'm ready to pitch it for your guy. If you tell, just tell me, I want to wake up tomorrow and find out Aaron Rodgers was had, and I didn't even call my friend. Uh, this is Kyle, by the way. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here. 